memories, what hit me the most. Mm. It was uh, the background of this uh, collective working and collective composing of this kind of like uh, rock music and rock mm. music context and the conventions there. But I somehow didn't like uh, the uh, the, uh, the, the, the the performer was the uh, the idea of the artist was somehow I wasn't comfortable with that that it it's it's about the artist it's not that much about the music in rock and then uh, in rock yeah hmm. somehow and in classical music vice versa it was completely different then it was about the music and the player in itself it's nothing and uh and i i like love love the music but i didn't like the hierarchic world mm -hmm. the old fashioned hierarchic world of classic classic classical world so i think and also then in jazz also i played quite a lot of jazz in that time 2000 and also previously and after that and uh, there was also like this kind of hierarchies, which I d always didn't like, but there was about the attitude of the material and the stuff. And then, when like as a double bass player, it was just heaven for me to to play folk music because I c I could use the how to say classical skills and also the improv improvisational skills from playing jazz, and then also the whole convention of doing music was very close to these kind of popular music mm -hmm. conventions. So for me it was about this kind of his my personal history was somehow very co connected with this new new folk movement. But uh, what because uh, it can be that uh, it was about the whole globalization going on like with the bigger pace on that that moment the word music had been there already quite a long time yeah. and also this kind of new drought for new folk music has settled quite well to the culture and it started to create yeah. like this kind of like second second round yeah. of doing, like approach of doing music but then with with all of that being said, then you found yourself at the folk music department, doing a master's. Yeah, and in fact, there was there was accident that I practiced. It was something of two thousand and five. I practiced very much of like classical double bass, mm -hmm. and broke my hand. Oh. So I was I was like I weren't able to practice properly in like I don't know two years after that. Ooh. So, uh, I had to practice very less, and then I had time to just play long notes and very like it was this hand. So I was I, I had to concentrate on just being relaxed and think about the uh, movements and uh, also playing yohiko because I wasn't able to play double bass. So I played so much more yohiko on that time. So on that time when I was I felt like I'm I'm dropping out of this kind of like. Uh, fast-paced uh, classical uh, uh, studying so I felt that like, okay maybe it's not my path maybe maybe I just follow this folk music path so then I did this is uh, like conscious decision that okay classical music f let's forget it let's co concentrate on only on folk music so that's that's the one that that was the when I really like, like get uh, got um, omistautua. That was the time when I really got addicted to mm. folk music. And did uh, I, sorry, cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that was the there's moment. No, there's no when... cut, Silka. There's <laughs> yeah, no yeah, cut yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cut. That was the that was the moment. Uh, when I really dedicated myself to playing folk music mm. and con concentrating on only folk music. And, and for, for you there, it was very much focused on the yogiko, or did you continue to just play every, everything you've been playing so far? All it, 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 like it la last like 10 years already on 2005, I, I started concentrating on double bass 
I think no, when I, I mean on your two years studies in the masters for the master's degree oh. in folk music, yeah. were you focusing on the yohiko clearly? I, I did four years of masters there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I started 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 in Sibes Academy in 2003 and now only three years so I will have my 20 year celebration of being oh. uh, present every year. Okay. You're, so, but you're, yeah, you're uh, part of the furniture. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I, I was uh, concentrating mostly on uh, still on double bass. Okay. And uh, I got my first, I decided to get my first uh, yogic lessons when I got into folk music department. Okay. But there, there wasn't people who I felt that could give me the information what I needed. So I, I ended up go to going to one uh viol player viola da gamba player mm. in fact former viola da gamba player who were uh, experts in medieval music especially oh, medieval music okay. and early, early 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 baroque so because of that that line i i have this kind of bow nowadays <laughs> and <Okay>. got strings <laughs> so <Okay. clears throat> I, I was I was already on that time as I was quite deep in this uh, early music stuff, and I felt that that could give me like more more inspiration and more po expressive possibilities to music. go go deeper to the gamba world, to the how how it uh, to the performance. Uh, conventions and also about the technical possibilities and technical solutions of the instrument itself. Okay. So uh, when I was doing masters it was quite like both that I was I was checking out uh, baroque stuff with double bass and trying to put them to uh, folk music and then with Yohiko I was doing more like renaissance and medieval stuff and trying to think like how they resonate with traditional yohiko music it's interesting